the aisle segment tonight. Radical environmentalists have a new pet issue, banning plastic straws. Save the world. San Francisco is the latest California city to ban plastic straws. But what's the point? Plastic straws make up a teeny tiny fraction of all the plastic that's in the ocean. The United States contributes an even smaller fraction of that. Meanwhile, San Francisco is plagued with poop, carjackings, and illegal aliens. And the liberal politicians in that city choose straws as their battle. With me now, Democratic strategist Jason Nichols. Jason, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, Liz. Jason, this one really kills me. I, I mean, I don't like when government gets involved, but this one cracks me up that the politicians in San Francisco have chosen straws as their next battleground. Why? When San Francisco is so <laughs> rife with critical issues, why focus on straws? Well, see, I, I don't think the focus was really on straws initially. That was the campaign. The issue was really single-use uh, plastics, which we know cause trouble to our environment. They get into our waterways. We ingest them through fish, and then we get exposed to carcinogens like BPA. So I think that there are – the big issue is uh, – you know, the uh, single-use plastics. That's what people are trying to get rid of. I think some of these cities in, in California have gotten hung up on the straws, but that was really just a way of starting the conversation. But did, didn't they know that this was going to happen, though? I mean, I don't think there's actually anybody on either side of the aisle who doesn't want to take care of our planet. I know it gets politicized a lot, but everyone wants mm -hmm. to be a good steward of the Earth. No one wants to pollute. No one wants to put chemicals in our water. We're all pretty much on the same page on that. But if you actually look at the percentage okay. of all the plastic that's in the ocean, it's something like 0.02% are plastic straws. In the whole scheme of everything, littering's bad, polluting's bad. Straws are not making that big of a difference. No, I would agree with you uh, in terms of straws not being the major issue. Again, this was just a campaign to get the conversation started. There was something very similar a while ago when we were talking about plastic bags. People started to talk about plastic bags. Now, I'm not sure what percentage plastic bags make up, but, you know, probably not everything in terms of uh, the many metric tons of of plastics that we have on our ocean floor. But we still had to talk about it, and that's why you go to the grocery store and you see many grocery stores don't even carry plastic bags. And many of them, you know, you see, uh, you know, your mom, your soccer mom with her reusable grocery bag. So what they wanted to do was actually start a conversation about the environment, about reusable plastics, I mean, excuse me, uh, single-use plastics that actually will, will lead us to be more environmentally conscious. Right, and don't get me started on the plastic bag thing. That's the reason why every time I walk into Sprouts, I get the side eye from the cashiers when they ask me if I, uh, if I need any bags or if I brought my own. I'm like, no, I'm going to carry my $150 worth of groceries on my head. What do you think? Of course, I need a plastic bag. But I, I, I get what you're saying. I think it's a valid point when you talk about, well, it's a way of bringing up the conversation because it certainly has stirred up people on both sides of the aisle. It's funny memes. It's, it's a funny topic to think that this is what politicians are talking about. But is this actually a positive thing for the liberals, the liberal government officials in the city of San Francisco? Because San Francisco is a very, very progressive city. The government is entirely run by progressives. Yeah. And at the same time, they have a lot of problems in that city that conservatives say are tied to the liberal policy or policies that those liberal politicians have implemented. Is this actually a positive conversation to be brought up? for those particular, um, I guess, liberal politicians when they should be focusing on things that matter more? Well, Liz, if there's one person I can blame it on, I'll blame it on Tom Brady because I try to blame everything on Tom Brady. But in all seriousness, I think that there are many problems uh, in these cities that we need to address, but that doesn't mean that we can't still address issues with our environment and go into campaigns for the environment. I'm in agreement in terms of legislating, and I think that many of our uh, private industries have started to address it on their own. We know Starbucks has addressed it. Um, I think uh, Disney has addressed it. And hopefully as a nation, we're going to start to be more environmentally conscious. Right. My, my question, I guess, is say, why target this first, though? Because, again, just going back to the numbers, of all the plastics in the ocean, straws are 0.02%. Mm -hmm. sure. Of all the plastic in the ocean, the U.S. contributes only 1% every year, which is a small amount considering our size and our population. Yeah. So doing the math, that's 0.0002% of all the straws in the ocean that are from the United States. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, there are 70 
9,500 homeless people just in, in in the city proper in San Francisco. They have 85 well, carjackings a day. Why would why would they prioritize? Sure. Why would liberals prioritize straws over taking care of their people? Well, Liz, I I, dis I disagree that it's being prioritized. I think it's being. Uh, publicized and promoted, particularly by, by right wing people who are against uh, progressives and, and liberal policies. I think really, I'm just we're dumb saying, policies. That's you know, all I'm many against. people are saying, people are saying, you know, we need to take care of the environment. And I already said I'm in agreement with you that that uh, private industry is starting to fix this, fix this on its own. And it won't put us out of step with a lot of other major industrialized countries. Uh, Great Britain is doing the same thing. They're trying to phase out of uh, single-use plastics in the next 10 years. Chile, uh, India, many other countries are. We're just saying, look, we can also focus on crime. I don't think if you talk to any politician in, uh, in uh, California that they're not focused on trying to better I mean, San the Francisco crime statistics and, and make streets. things safer. They have a crisis of feces, public defecation in their city. That It seems to me that that's more critical than passing a bill that's banning plastic straws in their city. I think they use about a and, million and again, plastic straws only... every day in their city. But, right. I mean, their, their public transportation is known to reek like urine. They, Like I said, they have massive crime. Well, it doesn't I, seem I, to me Liz. like they're focusing on what's important to the people there. They're focusing on what they think will give them uh, points from their liberal political peers. No, I, I, well, again, I, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I think that they are focusing on both. They realize that they have to change a lot of things in their city. And, you know, one of them is making their environment better. But, of course, they're, they're trying to uh, better public safety. I, I think that that's, you know, that's a little bit of whataboutism, don't you think? No, I don't. Not when more people leave the city of San Francisco. More people every year flee the city of San Francisco because of high rent and high crime rates than the number of illegal oh, immigrants who come in because it's a sanctuary city. I, I mean, if I were if I were uh, on the local the government in San Francisco, I would be focusing on things that impact people's environment every day. The things that are impacting people's environment are not being able to buy a house for their family. They have to leave the city because it's so expensive I to agree. buy property there. The homeless, the homeless problem how, is how worse is that than any other city in California. And I think that provides a much more dangerous environment than plastic straws do. But that's just me. I mean, voters there, maybe they feel differently, but I doubt it. Yeah, well, again, um, I think that we can prioritize all those things. I agree with you that we need to uh, think about, you know, the, the gentrification of the city, people moving out, the natives. Um, you talked about undocumented people living there. I don't know how they can live, afford to live there and other, um, you know, Americans with jobs can't. So I think that that's probably a little bit mixed up uh, on your part. Yeah, but at the policy, same time, no, I agree policy with wise, you. it's mixed up. You know, Paul, that's actually what we'll have to talk about. That that's what we'll have to, to talk about the next time. They're telling me in my ear that we've run Absolutely, out of time. Liz. This was a great conversation. Thanks for joining me.